What's up everybody, Kier Gomes here and welcome back. So today's video, we're gonna take a look at another deck of cards. This one was really exciting because I had never heard of it and uh, I received it and was pleasantly surprised with what I got. So today we're gonna be taking a look at the division playing cards by USPCC and Murphy's Magic. Intro. <laughs> All right guys, now before we review this deck, please do drop a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure you stick around to the end of this video because I have some important updates. The front of the tuck case is this awesome kind of three-dimensional geometric type design. You can see it's made up mostly of white and then this kind of khaki color and then that khaki turns into more of a darker khaki color. It says division on the front. It's not like a regular glossy cardstock. Nothing on either side. The bottom has some ad copy about Wiser or Wiser concepts. This deck was uh, made and designed by Danny Wiser. Nothing on the top, nothing on the back. Pretty standard tuck case overall. You do get this awesome custom seal. It's got this awesome pink color on the top, followed by navy blue, followed by uh, that khaki color again. You're gonna see these uh, throughout the cards. These are like three of my favorite colors, so I was really excited when I saw this deck come in the mail. All right, first things first, here is the back design of the card. Again, you can see we have this really nice uh, 3D type pattern. Uh, it is a two-way back design, so if you're holding it this way or this way, it makes no difference. Really nice colors. I love this back design so much. This is definitely by far, so far, my favorite deck of 2019. You are going to get two uh, identical ad cards for Division playing cards and Wiser Concepts. Why these were necessary, maybe one, I could see one uh, being necessary, but both of them, not really. You do get some gaps, so you get a blank card. This one is blank on both sides. Um, so this side, and then I wrote on this side for the trick in the trailer, but blank face on both sides. You are also gonna get the beloved double backer. Now, oddly enough, you don't get any jokers with this deck. Um, I don't know if it's because it was meant for card history and they're not necessary, um, but the ad copy about Wiser Concepts talks about magic, so interesting that there was no jokers. You get this nice and brilliant Ace of Spades. We have that peach pink color, the navy blue and the khaki coming back into play. It says Division there in the middle. It's a really nice Ace of Spades. Love it. Now, my personal favorite part of this deck was the back design. However, that was before I looked at the faces of the cards. Now you know me, I'm not huge on uh, super customization. However, when it's done right and it's done subtly, I think it adds to the deck rather than taking away from it. Your cards are for the most part gonna look industry standard. However, the black that would be used for the spades and clubs has been swapped for navy blue. But it's so, it's like such a nice navy blue, it definitely does not take away from the deck. And instead of red hearts and diamonds, you get this pink peach color which in my opinion looks amazing, especially as a whole. If you look at the back design, then look at the pips, so good, just looks so good. Royalty looks like bicycle standard, only with some color customization. Again, wow, this, oh my God, it's just, I wanna make out with this deck. Jack of diamonds, king of clubs, I see the resemblance here. I think the weapons on the royalty cards are different as well, like the Jack of Spades has this dagger, and then the King of Clubs has like this bow staff, so just really nicely done. They look standard. You could definitely use this deck for magic. The deck looks amazing. Aesthetically, it's very pleasing. Uh, I love the color scheme. I love the way that it looks in a fan. But another really good thing, and this was, I mean, to me, it just really drove it home, is the handling of the cards. These cards feel really good, so they're relatively thin, but I think that they're just standard bicycle stock or retail stock, whatever they call it now. I could cry. I love I love this deck so much. What they look like in a spring. Now I'm not gonna get too much into the handling because as you could see from the trailer before this video, the cards look great in all flourishes, especially things like fans. But I will switch the angle and just show you what they look like in a spread and in a giant fan and then uh, we'll take it from there. You can pretty much see from the trailer uh, how these cards look, but uh, in a spread, they look really cool just with those colors kind of contrasting against each other. That's a deck that you want to pick a card from for sure. Now decks like this always look good in a giant fan because of the colors and the geometric shapes. So let me show you guys uh, what that looks like. 
Ooh, and there you go. Overall, I would highly recommend this deck. I believe that they're still available. I'll leave a link below where you can get them. All right, now I told you guys I had some updates. So uh, real quick, just a few things. If you've been subscribed to me here for a while, you'll know that I do giveaways uh, as often as I can every couple of weeks or so. I do those giveaways for a couple of reasons. I mean, I wanna grow my channel, obviously that's important to me, but also um, it, I think it's pretty cool just to get engaged with you guys and uh, give stuff away just based on whether it's a comment about your favorite trick or letting me know why you're so interested in cards or you know how you got started in magic. I love all of that. However, my, uh, my Instagram peeps uh, have kind of been left out in the past. So seeing that my Instagram following is a bit bigger than my YouTube following, I'm doing an Instagram specific giveaway. Basically what happened was one of my subscribers from YouTube uh, followed me on Instagram and wanted to send me a couple of decks of cards. So I figured, uh, why not make it an Instagram giveaway? Uh, it gives me a chance to interact with you guys on a different platform, but as well gives me a chance to collaborate with somebody that I've never met. So the young chap's name is Blake Hensley. I think I'm saying that right. Um, I've dropped his Instagram link down below, as well as mine. So here's kind of what you gotta do to win. Upon talking about it, we thought it would be fun to do something a little bit different. So here's what we're looking for. If you wanna enter a giveaway to win a deck of dead eye playing cards. All I want you to do is grab a deck of cards or a sponge ball or a Sharpie or whatever, go out on the street and perform a magic trick for somebody, uh, whether your boss at work or some friends at school, just a complete stranger at a cafe somewhere, just get out there and perform. We think it would be cool to see what everybody does when uh, they're not tied to one location performing specifically for a camera. Get out there, perform for somebody, uh, make a one minute video, upload it to Instagram and use the hashtag go out and perform. So that way we can choose a winner. I will go ahead and leave the instructions in the description. If you're interested in entering, you have two weeks. So uh, today is Saturday the 9th. So two Saturdays from now, we are gonna choose a winner and we will mail out those cards directly to you. And as well, a Chalkbox update. I'm I'm pretty much at the point now where we're, we're about to enter uh, the final stages of design before we go to print. So it's only a matter of time before I start leaking things here and there. I did put a teaser uh, for the colors of the back design on my Instagram. So if you haven't seen that, go check it out. And anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your weekend. I know I will. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.